Hi, my name is Song. I'm an application engineer here at Simon. Today's tutorial is to use SCADA mobile server. And to access the SCADA main server as a mobile client. Before we get started, there are a few things we need to check. First, do you have the web server license? If your license is DS for development tool, or if you have the RS, the runtime viewer, then you cannot use the mobile server function. You need to have the web server version which will allow you to access the main SCADA server as a mobile client. Please check your model name to see if you have the correct version. And for today's tutorial, I'm using, I'm using the 10 concurrent users. Second, you need to have the one identical network which means that for today's tutorial I've, I'm using the wireless internet and in my laptop has the IP address of 192.168.0.5 so my SCADA main server will be running on this IP address. In other words, if I want to access the SCADA main server to access this IP address, I need to have a, a same identical uh, IP address for my mobile client. So, according to the subnet mask, I have the C class here. Then my mobile client, which will be my mobile device, whether it be Android smartphone or whether it be iPhone, your, your smartphone, the mobile device, should have the same C class IP address. So you will have the same 192.168.0. And a different number. You will. Uh, I will explain this later when I when I fully have the access to the SCADA SCADA main server as a mobile client. So if you have the proper proper web server license and if you have if you establish the same identical network, then let's go ahead and open up. ultimate access go to start and then click on all programs click on ultimate access notice that the ultimate access uh, contains this following software Simon D is where you develop your SCADA project Simon X is where you run your project and and for today's mobile server, we need we need to use the mobile designer, which will uh, which will configure and draw pages that are going to be displayed on your mobile device and server mobile server which will run the mobile project so that the mobile client will be able to see and access the mo the SCADA main server. So let's go ahead and click on Simon D. And I want you to know that we provide the built-in samples uh, for for all users. So we're going to use the sample for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and click on search and open. Go to computer. Go to local disk where your ultimate access is installed go to Simon go to ultimate access and then go to Simon mobile click on sample 
and there's there's your sample project for SCADA SCADA demo uh, version 2.10 click on that and I'm going to click on this one as well as you can see that uh, this is built-in sample uh, project provided and if I click on help and click on about Simon D and you can see that I have the web server license over here so go to tools and go to network network and for for SCADA main server, uh, we need to use the FEP, the Simon Net server. Click on this, and notice that if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you don't um, enable this button, then this uh, this FEP configuration will not be activated. So make sure you click on FEP, the Simon Net server, and then click on the FAP tab now it is activated we're gonna use the ENAT the Ethernet and click on COM port um, we're gonna uh, use the port number just leave it as uh, what it is uh, the default setting and the primary IP address will be our SCADA main server which will be our uh, your laptop or your PC that your SCADA um, main server will be running so I can put um, the this IP address over here or uh, you can just put a 0, 0 0.0 point zero which will automatically detect the your operating systems IP address and it will it will automatically configure uh, your IP address if you put this uh, following address so you have two two choice over here you can either put your IP address um, from the uh, from from your operating system or you can just put uh, four zeros which uh, our program will automatically detect this IP address so click on OK and click on OK and this should be the end of um, network configuration for for the Simon D and now we need to go ahead and open up mobile designer go to ultimate access click on mobile designer And, and and it is the mobile designer uh, version 1.76 and I have the mobile option my 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 web server license has the mobile option so just like the Simon D uh, which which had the built-in sample um, we also have we also provide the mobile designer uh, sample project as well. So go to open project to Simon Ultimate Access. Go to mobile sample and now click on um, iPhone demo. Click on iPhone demo and if I click on this. you can see that this um, the SCADA Simon D project has been modified to the mobile designer so this screen this page is exactly what you see on your mobile on your smartphone uh, as a mobile client and, and, and please be reminded that if you are going to create your own project then you need to draw and configure your project here in Simon D and also in the same manner you also need to draw uh, your your uh, project here in mobile designer as well 
so if you have only either one of it then it will not uh, work so you need to have both uh, both Simon D project and the, uh, and the mobile designer project as well so now that our Simon D the network configuration is done we need to go to the tool over here and configure the network um, setting for mobile designer as well um, the local IP address uh, we're just gonna leave it as it is and we're using the uh, using all LE data communication and we click on OK and then And then now um, we're going to execute the server and we're going to uh, run Simon X. So in order for this mobile server to work, you need to have the SCADA main server running, which will be uh, the Simon X, and then and then you you will have the mobile mobile server running as well. So I'm gonna open up Simon X first before before I will open up Mobile Designer. I will so now the Simon X is running. I have the Mobile Designer over here. Then go to Tools. And then click on server execute. So right now we have the SCADA main server running, and now we have the mobile server running as well. And if your if your smartphone, um, either whether it be Android. Uh, for play uh, Play Store app or an, an iPhone for um, App Store, go there and search for Simon, and there should be Simon application available for download. And then go to download, and then. And I will show you how I can access the server. Notice that so I'm logged in uh, with the uh, IP address. Um, notice that, like I told you in the beginning. we need to have how I emphasize and we need to have one identical network um, notice that my SCADA main server is running on 192.168.0.5 and my, my iPhone uh, in this case my mobile client has the IP address of 192.168.0.6 so you can notice that we have the same C class a structure over here so it should have until at this point 192.168.0 needs to be the same IP address and 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 we need to have the one identical network and this is how um, I, I was able to access the main server as a mobile client and now that we have made the connection, let us see if I can run and change the tag value. So I'm gonna click on I'm gonna click on my cell phone and run the first uh, water pump. And 
as you can see um, I've just uh, activated um, the the first pump one on my on, on my iPhone and, and the SCADA main server is running uh, as well the pump one is running and I'm gonna go and click on the second pump and the third pump and the fourth pump so the mobile client can control and, and change the tag values for um, for the SCADA main server and right now he has the current uh, set value of 79 I'm going to change it to 500 and now the set value is 500 and and the, the process value is 499 and same for the chlorine I'm gonna go ahead and put 300 and I have the same value so this is just a quick video on how to use SCADA main server and how to access the main server as a mobile client um, I'm sorry that I'm not able to show you uh, what is going on my iPhone um, because the video is restricted to my lap, uh, PC or laptop over here but uh, you can see that the mobile server it shows you the 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 all the history that's been made by the mobile client when is when 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 it was uh, the connection was made what what values have been changed and things like that so I, so um, I want you to benefit from this video and and I will come back to you at the next uh, tutorial video thank you